a community is a place where people live, work, and have fun together. There are different types of communities. Do you know what they are? There are rural communities, suburban communities, and urban communities. Every community is unique, but in each one, the people care about safety and help each other. Today, Casey is going to take us on a tour of three different communities in Arizona. Our first stop is his grandparents' house out in the country. Rural communities like this are in the countryside, where towns are smaller. Many people in rural communities live and work on farms. Farmers do a lot of work in rural communities. They have to take care of all the animals and work the land to grow crops. People everywhere depend on rural communities for fresh fruits and vegetables. Casey's right! Things like corn, carrots, peaches, and even potatoes all come from farms like Casey's grandparents. There are fewer homes out here, so there are fewer people. Rural communities have smaller populations, but the people here depend on other communities too. People in rural communities rely on larger communities for things they need. Many smaller, rural towns don't have shopping malls or large grocery stores. Rural residents must visit cities to find those things. What kind of community is found in the city? An urban community! People who live in urban areas love the convenience of having everything being so close. Living in the city means everything's close by. Where you eat, where you play, where you shop, where you live, it's all right here. Busy streets, museums, parks, apartment buildings, buses, trains, and skyscrapers are found in urban communities. I love these doors. Casey likes to come to the city with his mom. They enjoy shopping, sightseeing, and people watching. The city is a busy place. Lots of people come in and out of the city every day. Public transportation is an easy way to get around. Hurry, Mom, we'll miss the train. People also get in and out of the city by driving their own cars. The streets in the city can get pretty crowded. If you're coming to the city, you have to remember to be patient. Casey lives in a suburban neighborhood. Suburban neighborhoods have the conveniences of the city, but the houses are bigger and there's more space than in the city. Lots of houses with yards can be found in suburban communities. The population in the suburbs is less than the city, but more than in rural areas. Like city folks, people in suburban areas like to have everything they need pretty close by. Libraries, stores, shops, and neighborhood parks are also found here. Another thing that's close in suburban communities is highways. Many people use highways and interstates to get in and out of the city. Suburban communities are located close to large cities. Chandler, Arizona is only about 25 miles from Phoenix, but this suburban neighborhood is very different from the big city. Every community is different, but each one has people who work together and make their community a better place. A good community is one that meets your likes and needs. If you like a lot of space, animals, and farming, then a good community for you is a rural area. If you like a neighborhood with lots of houses and yards, you might like a suburban neighborhood. But if you want to be right in the middle of all the action, then an urban community would be perfect for you. As for Casey, he liked all three communities. What do you think makes a good community?